sitting here enjoying the breeze. I'm at our Dallas yard here. I'm here a lot, aren't I? Got to meet up with uh, a fellow periscoper. Um, hung out and had breakfast. Turned into hanging out at a table full of ICs. Trading stories, you know. There was a couple that just started a, the team venture and we were giving them tips and tricks, you know, because they didn't know a lot of the processes and everything. And they brought up a good point. Uh, you need... If you come on over here, you need a mentor. You need to find somebody that will uh, help you out. Um, help you kind of educate you on how to look for loads, what to look for, what to avoid. Um, you know, different strategies and scenarios. Um, because they really don't do that here. One of the good positive things that I could say about Landstar was that there they have after 180 days you know they make they make you stumble a little bit but after 180 days or 120 days I think I can't remember um, you uh, go to what they call a cabs class and there and if you guys have been watching me since my Landstar days you might remember the video where I was like oh wow I had this life changing moment blah 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 so what it was is they, they teach you how to use the low board, what tools to use, strategies to use, what to do, what not to do, you know, all these different things. And it really kind of helped me change my game when I was there. And uh, here, they really don't have anything like that in place, you know. Um, you hear a lot of people say, well, it's all on you, it's all on you, it's all on you. But reality, there are things that are out of your control and if you've only been out here a couple of years and then become a lease operator it can be tough you know especially with self-dispatch because you know you're you don't know enough you don't you know in my opinion hell it takes two or three years just to get the the physics of the truck right just to get experience enough to drive the truck and, and deal with the load situation let alone try to self-dispatch and pay for fuel and everything else so there's a lot of things that as a company guy that you don't realize how much the company's actually doing for you until you get in a situation like this but you know we sat at the table and we talked about different tips and tricks and what I do and what you should do and what we all do and what you don't want to do and you know, what area do you live in? Okay, you want to run this area. What area do you live in? Okay, you want to try this. Hey, look for that load. You know, that kind of thing. The same reasons why I do these videos is maybe to be helpful in some sense. You know, Jeffrey Like was really good about that. You know, he and he still will. He'll still help you. You know, just to, to learn the strategies, the short haul strategy, the long haul strategy, what works best for you and your business. And so, you know, I encourage you to talk to other drivers and learn their tips. I encourage you to go to YouTube and Facebook and take everything with a grain of salt. You know, everything that I tell you may not be right for you, or you might think I'm an idiot. There are other YouTubers, and I'm like, wait a minute. No, you know. But there are other YouTubers that, that know what they're talking about. So, but... Anyways, I thought I'd just put that out there. Um, I'm just trying to create this, I don't know, daily content. You know why? Because I can't do YouTube Live yet. I'm going to figure that out. I've updated the app, but I guess there's, you know, a couple of people have told me I got to go into the homepage and tweak a few things. And, well, I don't know my password. I don't want to deal with that. And I'm going to use my laptop to get on that. So, anyways, maybe then I'll start doing some YouTube Live videos. But... For now, you, you might be able to catch me live on Periscope. However, Periscope sucks right now. Um, there's always signal issues or, you know, it, it'll skip. So, I don't know. It was working fine a year ago. Now, it has gotten worse. Anyways, I'm going to go pick up a load. And then I'm going to go north with it for 100 miles and call it a day. 
So everybody take it easy and uh, we'll see you on the next side.